must remember this A kiss is still a kiss A sigh is just a sigh Um, I am in my uh, third career. I was, for many years, I was a journalist, foreign correspondent for The Guardian, the British paper, in Moscow, in America, around the world. Then for uh, seven years, I, uh, I was in think tanks in the USA, and I ran one um, on global economics, which was very interesting. And now I'm writing my novels here in, uh, in France. And every stage has been interesting. I am uh, a Scotsman. Um, I've been married for 40 years to a fine woman. Um, I have two terrific daughters. One is a journalist who writes about sports, and the other one is a poet who lives in America. Uh, and I'm crazily proud of both of them. They're terrific, terrific women. Uh, and I'm still learning things, which is great. I'm learning more about gardens, learning more about cooking, learning more about the Perigord, and um, I still enjoy traveling. Um, very good French uh, friends who bought a house here some 40 years ago and we came out to visit them um, and um, we've been visiting them ever since until we bought our own house here 20 years ago and in fact Julia with our daughters uh, was staying with our friends in the Perigord. Uh, we would go every summer when we were based in Moscow uh, where the story for journalists was wonderful but the food was unspeakable. Uh, to come to the Perigord for two weeks and eat well was wonderful. But this particular summer, Julia and our daughters were with our friends in the Perigord. I had to go to Washington to interview Bill Clinton because I was the bureau chief for the British paper there. And uh, so I'd known Bill pretty well. So this was, uh, this was uh, me and Julia with Bill and Hillary at Christmas at the White House, and, uh, which was a very, fine, uh, a very fine occasion. I liked Bill a lot. I, think, I thought he was a pretty good president. He, I'd known him since Oxford. We were both at Oxford together at the same time. And then I wrote a book about him, The President We Deserve, um, because before I was writing my Bruno books, I was writing serious books, A History of the Cold War, um, a book about Gorbachev and Perestroika, of course, I'm being based in Moscow. And um, I come to the Perigord and it's like liberation. I can write whatever I want. <laughs> ah, the very first book is, uh, is this one, The Caves of Perigord, uh, which is uh, a book that came because I was fascinated by the caves, by Lascaux to begin, and then I went to visit all of the caves, Fond de Gaume, Berdifal, Rufignac. Uh, I was just, and I began to do research into prehistory, archaeology. I interviewed archaeologists. I went to the museum at Les Aisies endlessly. And I, I wanted to try and understand what kind of society could have produced the masterpiece of Lascaux. How was it organized? Um, so I made up a novel, I wrote a novel about it, and um, I s liked the idea so much, I liked writing the novel, um, and it was a, a success, so I then began to write the Bruno stories, and then because of the Bruno stories, we start working on the cookbook, because people, there's so much Perigord food in the novels, because Bruno cooks a lot that people, readers, said, can we have a cookbook? So with Julia, we made the, uh, we made the cookbook, and then we, we win the prize. This is, I was invited out to China for the uh, prize giving of Gourmand International, which gives the prize for the best restaurant in the world, the best chef in the world, best cookbook uh, in the world. Uh, what a surprise, what a shock. And then, um, uh, well, this is, a sort of the history of my time here. This was the Conferie du Pâté de Périgueux, which I adore. Then this is the gold medal for tourism, but there is the medal. Then here is the Conferie uh, du Raison d'Or, Sigoles. Here is the Académie des Lettres de Périgord, uh, the Conferie de Chabrol, and uh, I am a, a Grand Consul de la Vigne de Bergerac. Qui est un peu bizarre parce que le consulat, fond, uh, the consulate was founded 
750 years ago by a British king, by King, uh, by King Edward, by King, uh, by King Edward III, and it's, um, it's all. Th this is really why I love this room. It has my, my books, my memories of my career in journalism, and then all of the way in which I have become adopted in the Perigord, and uh, which is now my home. No, uh, the cocoon that really saw the birth of Bruno was the local tennis club here in Le Bug. Um, I had uh, made friends with a neighbor who was renowned for all as the barrel, and he and I would go and play tennis. And in the tennis club, I met a really nice guy who had been 10 years in the French army. And then uh, he, uh, he was a good hunter. He was a great cook, really nice man. Uh, he spent his spare time teaching the children to play tennis and rugby. And he was our policier municipal, our village policeman. And that's Piero, Piero Simone, who became a great friend. Uh, in fact, I had lunch with him yesterday. And um, he, I thought, this is a perfect character. I want to write something about a person like this in the Perigord. And that was the origin of Bruno. So this is where I write. Um, and this is where I plan my books. And I, I plan everything in longhand. When I actually sit down to write, I get my laptop and I, I, I write there. Um, but yeah, I've written, I've written in this room something like 15 books now. And so um, I just feel very, uh, very comfortable here. It's, uh, I love my little cheminée, my little stove. I like to cook on it. I'm, I'm cooking a duck carcass at the moment to make a bouillon. Um, and, um, I have my internet, I have everything I need. And my whiskey, because when my friends come for a petit apéro in the evening, we have a, a whiskey. Oh, so pleasant, it's all that I have. Attention, 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 attention. When I first got the chickens here, there was one cockerel and four hens. And so the cockerel, I called him Sarkozy or Sarko, and the four hens were Carla Bruni. Uh, for the wife of Sacco, and then Hillary Clinton, because she was always talking, and then uh, Margaret Thatcher, who was the little tyrant, always the first to eat, and finally Angela Merkel, who gave the most, uh, the most chickens. Well, now Sacco is old, and so he's in the other poulailler with the little babies, the chickens and the pheasants, and his son, the cockerel over there, that is the son of Sacco and Angela Merkel, and he is called Macron, of course. Bruno est un de nos meilleurs ambassadeurs. <laughs> Il faut en profiter. Comme Moi, Julien de Savignac. Et alors, et Karine. Santé. Santé.